Bright, bright. I am an alchemist. I don't know how to fight this guy, by the way. So I'm just going to... Uh... Okay, so you can't spin attack that thing. Got it. Okay, yep, he's invincible somehow. I will ignore him and his pet. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Jump on it? Okay, jump on it. Really nice. The Okay, that was just a Okay. His own attack. Two jelly beans. All right, this one's going to be a bit tricky. Purely because he's going to throw out multiple enemies. All right. Temper tantrum. Temper temper. I like the music, though. Damn it. Camera could be better, though. Because you have to run up ahead to avoid them. Unless I maybe this can be a safe jo zone if you, like, run a specific way. Nope, because that happens. And later on, so yeah, nah, screw this camera angle, could be better. I mean, come on. This is a boss fight. Do better. Unless you can jump on the mid. Okay, you can, okay. That makes it better, that makes it better. Okay, that's my fault. Got cornered by his blasts. Still like the music, though. You can stomp on them as they spawn, so that's good, that's good. So honestly, this is actually an easy boss fight if you don't mess up. God dang it. They overlap. That's kind of stupid. Meh. It's them. It is the specifics that hurt. It is getting it down. Getting it down, General Patton. Still love the music. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Well. Fuck. I hate the hit detection on some shit in this game. It's stupid. It's like, come on, design better. Don't let the difficulty lie in the fact that you couldn't do something good. Damn it. Oh, you were slightly off, therefore you die. Here, have a pity rutabaga. He's like, this isn't a problem with this boss fight specifically. It's all over with this game. Hitboxes are weird. Like, hell, hitboxes of... Well, not really hitboxes, but the collision boxes of platforms in this game are weird. It just kind of bleeds into a, why is stupid, is pain and misery. Oh crap, he has one more. I'm gonna die on this last one, aren't I? Oh no! Ah oh, crap, what do I do? Okay. 
Never mind. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. That's a fuck you to the original design. We're gonna randomly change up the boss battle for no reason. So jump on the boxes, jump on his head. Okay, okay. Whatever, whatever. Here, I thought this is a decently designed boss. Then they went the weird route. Like, if it was a checkpoint, sure. Have, the, have it be, like, a substantial thing, then. Would actually be an interesting, like, escalation of the game in general. Considering that no other boss had a checkpoint beforehand. But, nope. Oh yeah, I forgot. He has a tantrum! Alrighty. Damn it. Collision! I hate the collision in this game. Just fucking fix it. The camera angle, the collision, like certain little, little things would go a long way. Just little itty bitty things would be nice, Billy Bones. Well, there goes my chance of being this boss. I'm fucked. Er, we're gonna have to be weird with timing. Damn it. I don't like this boss anymore. I don't like this boss anymore. Why do you have to be so extra and bullshit? Once again, checkpoints would be nice. Because, like, it's not like, a, oh, survive and then hit him once. It's literally do this in one go and he has multiple hits. It's just meh. Alrighty. Let's see if we can survive this one. Oh yeah, I forgot! Hate that final part. Not in a, oh, it's a badly designed way, but in a, I got my brain. go. Yeah, I honestly would have preferred if this uh, this part of the fight was more like pronounced and uh, heavily designed and uh, there was like a checkpoint in between. I also would have preferred that just a little bit. Just a little bit. Would have liked that. Would have appreciated that. Then again, this was like a PlayStation 1 game, and some of it might just be from the wonkiness they made with the uh, remaster. Still good. It's still a good game, just little itty-bitty wonky things. The Lab. So yeah, it looks like two more levels. The Lab and then Cortex. Hit the box. I wonder what it does. Hit the other box. Oh. You're tricky. Oh boy, timers. Alright, perspective's a little wonky here in my opinion, but we can do it. Alright, this one seems to be interesting. Ah, crap. Okay. Don't like that.
Ooh, that was close. Destroy all the boxes. I think I saw a checkpoint up ahead. Well, those boxes are gonna go kablooey. Alright, and <laughs> checkpoint and then what is essentially a checkpoint. That amuses me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Find it funny. Teleports me to this wooded area. Cortex comes out. When inevitably Cortex is in there as well. Ah, crap. I already don't like. I already don't like. Like what, do I wait for the electricity to go away? Apparently not, or maybe that is, but it's wonkily done, so who fucking knows? I don't like enemies like this. I don't like enemies like this at all. I do not like him. I don't like him. The slime disappears, right? Why? 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 I don't like him. Because I'm pretty sure you can't spin him, or else that would be breaking the logic of the boss fight, too. Oh, hey, this guy. Fuck this. I hate him. I don't like timing. Timing sometimes can be stupid. Arg. Don't like it. I want to go. And the game says, no, you can't go. At least the animation on that guy falling is funny. It's like, ugh. Ruins my brain. Dang it. No. <laughs> Don't put an enemy right before a checkpoint. That's just rude. That is even ruder. God damn you. Have the platform be a certain ways away so it's hard to like mistake for floor. I guess, yes, yellow tape, but still. Oh, hey, this thing that hasn't been done before. Let's not prepare the player. No, this is the end of Crash 1. Had some decent levels there for a while. Yay! So far, it's only aggravating in certain itty-bitty bits. <laughs> Waha hi! I hate the slimes! I hate them! They have no business being here! Just aggravating me! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, wait for the. Oh, he comes forward. He comes forward. <laughs> oh, that's super nice, considering that he's on a timer. Please don't respawn the slime. 
Thank God. <sighs> oh, fuck you. Fuck you. It's a fucking door. That's just bullshit. I don't like things like that. Unconventional deaths that have no immediate warning. Once again, hey, here's a hazard that you haven't run into before and it's gonna come out of nowhere and fuck up your day. Don't like it! I don't like it at all! Why does it respawn? Flip flop blue. Coming for you. Alright, so I'm just gonna stand here and jump a bunch until I mean the line. That's not still not good. That would have been perfect. Waiting for it. Probably gonna die. Probably gonna die. Yep. I hate it. I wish I could just stand there, but you can. You have to stupidly jump on a box until the game decides you can go. It's annoying. Plus timing. Why sync up obstacles? Am I right? That's what a good developer would do. Oh, you can actually knock him up. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Wait for it to go one more time. Still don't like that he can kind of walk towards you with his timer based thing. But okay, no! So used to jumping on them by now. Nope. I hate it. I hate the timing in some of these levels. I just feel like they could be done better and just like gel better, make more sense. It's like, eh, challenge. It means to be annoying. That's the one thing I hate. I hate most of all in life. Almost zapped me. Timing is a delicate art. But I feel like some people ignore. <laughs> Fuck! Some of them are just like, why? You don't need the actual things to be annoying when there's a frickin' thing that jumps at you. Small itty bitty things have leniency.